Hey guys, Joe here with Doji Trading, and today we are going to look at the other reaction role um, options that they have. A comment came across asking if there was a way to add and remove roles. I don't know specifically if it was designed to be a condition question. Um, an example would be if I click, you know, a role. Let's say I click, let's say I click on this guy, you know, can he remove a specific role and then, you know, can, or can he remove a specific role and then add a completely different role? An example would be like, can he remove the designer role and then maybe add the streamer role? I don't know if that's exactly the question that was being asked, but as of right now, it doesn't look like there is a way to do that. But what I am going to do in this video is just go over the take, give and toggle sections. Um, I didn't explain that in my other videos, but I figured because that question arised, we might as well just go ahead and take a look at it to see if this answers or helps anybody in the future. So we're just gonna go ahead and make it from the beginning to end, just like we normally would. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right over here to the embed messages. So go ahead and click on that. All right, and because I'm gonna go ahead and make a brand new one, I'm gonna go ahead and click on compose. All right, so now we have nothing nothing here we have a new embed go ahead and click on that bad boy in the name i'm just gonna go ahead and give a test section pretty much what i just made and then um title testing grounds and then for the description testing different styles okay so i'm gonna go ahead and save that so i want to make sure that the, the name updated i want to make sure that i see this little success thing pop up right over here Looks like we're good there. Um, bam. All right, cool. And then what I want to do is go ahead and send the message. And before I do, I want to make sure that I obviously have a somewhere in my Discord to send it to. So let's just go ahead and take a look at that. And it looks like I set up a testing area right over here to do just that. So I'm going to make sure that I send my message into here so that it displays in here. All right. So let's go ahead and pop back in over here. Send new message and I'm going to send that to testing. Send new message. All right, so it says success. Let's just go ahead and come on back over here. All right, so we have nothing here. Now, I did happen to do this earlier and I realized that time just plays a factor. So let's just wait it out and see how this works. One. Aha. Okay. So we got it. There's nothing here. There's no buttons, nothing. Cause we haven't added anything. So let's just go ahead and jump back over into our browser. All right. So now we're back in our browser and this is all good. We're all done here. Click save changes one more time. If you want to, I always do just to have it. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is come all the way down here to reaction rules right here. Click on that. Now you're going to see that I have other reaction roles already set up. So we're just going to actually go past that. You can see that I have one set up for terms. Um, when people join the server, I have one for choose your role when people are, you know, selecting what it is that they want to select now at, the, at this moment, I still only have streamers, designers, and members. And if you are one of the few that are in my discord server, you understand why it's not that popular. It's not that exciting, but it's a work in progress. And uh, hopefully more people like you decide to join in so that we can make it a bigger and better place for c content creators um, alike. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on add message. Now it's possible you're going to get this little message that pops up right here. Careful, you have unsaved changes. So save it. You know, I don't, I, it popped up last time. It kind of scared me. I was like, do I have any unsaved changes? But I really don't have anything that needs to be saved. Anyways, just save it. And once you go ahead and do that, just go ahead and swing on down to the bottom. And basically what you get is a brand new embed section to start your your next section. Anyways, select an embed. Let's go ahead and do that. The test section is the one that we just created. So we want to do that. Choose the message. Well, we confirm that it did send it over to Discord. So let's just double check. There it is. Go ahead and jump back over here. And what we're going to do is select the testing message because that's the one that got sent. And we're good to go. So what we want to do now is add our reactions. Now we're going to go over how this how this works. I'm going to go over all three of these uh, because I didn't go over them in the prior videos. So um, 
we'll just go over them together. So we'll start with the toggle. Let's go ahead and add a reaction. And we are going to put the thumbs up. And we are going to go ahead and give this the... You know what? Uh, no, I'm not going to go ahead and create anything new just because we are going to do the. I guess we are going to go ahead and create a new one. They always get me. This thing always gets me. So I'm going to go ahead and click save changes. If you guys just want to skip ahead, you can. Uh, but I am going to go back into Discord and just go ahead and make one roll real fast for the sake of testing. And let's go into server settings. Let's go into roles. And let's add one. Um, we're going to call this one Superstar. All right. And we are going to make that. Not, a, not the kind of colors I like here. I'm not digging any, but whatever. We'll go with this one. All right. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is. Hmm. Oh, that's fine. I'll just leave it there. I don't need to put it anywhere special and display role members separately. Yes, I want that actually. OK, so there we go. We went ahead and fix that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump right back over to this area over here. And what I'm going to do is just refresh it just because um, you want to give the bot opportunity to pick up that role. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slide all the way back down here. And here's that, that magical thumb. Let's go ahead and click on that. And let's come on down here. And there's no superstar. Where is the superstar? If I click it, if I look away and click it, does it do anything? Nothing, uh. Probably another one of those time sensitive situations listening ports all that that hacker stuff not joking um all right i'm just gonna go ahead and reload it again so one thing i love about these videos is that you get real you know real world issues and concerns it's not speedy it's not very prompt but you know unless there's a different way there might be let's see did we get it new roll this is new roll did I not save it in my other one? Let's go take a look. Come on, you guys are coming with me. Did I mess this up? Am I that big of a noob? No, so there is a superstar. Okay, so the superstar is here. I didn't mess anything up. Took a tool first. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. All right, so it's there. All right, go back over here. We're going to get this. We're going to get this to work. All right. And I don't want that. Let me let me just go ahead and delete it. How about that? Now let's try it. Let's try it being fresh. No. What is your problem? Hmm. All right. Tell you what. I'm going to jump out. Then I'm going to jump back in. So I'm going to take a different server. Jump back. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I really couldn't tell you. But if you find out that it works, then maybe you just need to close the browser, reopen it. Who knows? All right. There we go. So it looks like by jumping out and then jumping back in, it went ahead and loaded it. So a letter, of, uh, a letter of recommendation, uh, recommended action is to probably just go ahead and jump in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So I went ahead and added it. Click the save changes. I don't see any magical button showing up over here. Um, but I do see the thumb in the discord so that right here here it is so let's just go ahead and take a look here so currently my roles blah 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 blah, blah. i don't have superstar i'm not famous so let's go ahead and click it okay now we have superstar so basically this is the toggle this is the toggle one right here okay where the first one we're looking at is the toggle so basically means that if i click it again i should in fact lose that ability so if I go ahead and uh, lose that role, let me go ahead and uncheck it. And I did. I went ahead and lost the role. If I click it, the role does show up. And if I uncheck it, the role goes away. This is good for your uh, discords when you're already in need, when you already have a selection in progress where you basically allow your members to choose um, 
things to help define their abilities or categorize their skills and things like that. So that's that's what you would want to use that for. So let's go ahead and take a look back over here. Um, and let's switch it up. So let's switch it to give. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this one right here. So now we're using the give. Let's go ahead and save the save the changes here. All right, so that's saved. Let's go ahead and pop back over to the Discord. All right, so we're back inside here. Actively, I don't have it given to myself. So this one right here is good if I click it. Now I should receive that role. Now I receive the role. Now here's the thing. If I uncheck it, I should not lose the role. It should be only a given role. So this this particular thing should be only a plus. Like I should only receive the role even if I click it, uncheck it, right? So I unchecked it. And even though I unchecked it, I still have the superstar role. So that was not taken away from me. Now, why would you want to use something like this? This is good for your terms, your agreements and things like that. Hey, welcome to the server. Check this box and you come in. So if they check it, then they're going to get that role. That's going to, you know, open up the world to them and allow them into the rest of your server. What's also good about this, um, I gave it some considerable thought is if you have something that requires some integrity um, in the fashion that let's say, let's say you have something that's not suitable for work or your your uh, your chat has to identify a certain you know area of the community that is for 18 or over and you have that button and a disclaimer it's like once they check that and they get that approval that's their that's them signing off on something saying hey you know i said what i said and i meant it now you know, could it have been an error? Yeah, but you know, disclaimer, that's why there's disclaimers like you sign on the print, you could probably even do a double, you know, you could you could probably even have two of them, you could say like, hey, check this box, and then check this box, you know, because there's no joking around once you click it. So if they try to uncheck it, well, they never lose the role. And you know, then they went ahead and approved themselves for that specific role. Now, let's go ahead and jump right back into here. And let's go ahead and do the take it. All right, so now we're doing the last one. And this is just the take section. So I went ahead and saved it. Everything's good. Go and bounce right back to the Discord. Now, I do have a superstar because that was the one where it was given. Now this one's a taken, taken away. So even though that this one went up, it should still not remove it. No, oh, did you see that lag? real life okay so now that's done now if i click it it's not going to toggle because it's not a toggle option that we selected so even though i clicked it again we're never going to get that roll back no matter how many times i click this um because that roll was designed this the take um ability or function is just removing that roll from you so you don't have that opportunity now a good way to probably utilize this is in the exact same fashion if you have um you know, something where you're pretty much saying, hey, are you sure you want to do something? It's your warning signal. You know, are you absolutely positive you want to get out of here or leave leave my server or something like that? I don't know what you could use it for, but I'm pretty sure you could find a you know, you can find something to use it with. So that about does it. I went ahead and covered all three of the roles, you know, or all three of the um, categories. Again, you have the toggle, the give and the take. You know, toggle is pretty much like anybody that you, like I said, trying to help identify or categorize, you know, skills, trades, roles, whatever you want to use the toggle section. Give if you're using it for, again, you're welcoming somebody to your server or you have specific areas that you want to leave locked and you want to hold people accountable by clicking on that icon because once they click it, they're not going to be able to remove it unless you remove it for them. And then take, again, don't really know other than maybe for like a warning saying, hey, listen, you know, um, I don't know, maybe there's games or something you could probably use with this. I can't, I really don't have anything in mind that I could utilize or put to this token. So, uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. As always questions, concerns, suggestions. I'm here for you. I always appreciate and look forward to your guys's, uh, discussions or ideas. 
please jump by the server let me know what you think let me know what you need um so i can go ahead and put those out there for everybody and again we can help everybody make their streams or their content a lot better so until next time this is joe with doji trading take care and uh just keep doing what you're doing